guys, so today I am doing a very exciting video and today I am taking you guys along with me to get my first point shoes. So I am so excited to be doing this video. <sighs> Getting my point shoes has been a dream of mine since I was little and I just, wow. I always wanted to get point shoes ever since I was little. My mom had point shoes so, I mean, it's every girl's dream to get point shoes and being a ballerina, let's be real here. Every girl's dream is to get point shoes. So, that is what this video is all about. So, without further ado, watch me get my point shoes. Let's go. So, I'm in front of the Capizio store, and I, I'm gonna go get my point shoes. Let's go. The only thing, you have 40, 42, maybe? She's an eight and a half. She's an eight and a half. Just one second, I'll show you how to look that up. Because you have to these ones, okay. like my toes are cramped, just like that. Put it all the way on. What, what yeah, my this? toes Mommy. are like my big, like my second toe is like. Mommy. It's completely different. Do you but have it's, um, Grishko's? Yeah. Because you, you have Grishko's, and I would put them on, and I don't know, I, I don't, I don't know anything. So. Do you, um, can you just come over to the bar? Is that gonna just with my shoe? Yeah. Just go in the Well, how do you feel about the Russian are Hi, Grandma. I just want to try everything. I really don't know anything. She didn't tell me I came from surf camp. You filming her? Yeah. Okay. No. But I think they make them just not. Oh, for a reminiscence. Yeah. No. Want to be a Look towards me. Oh, here they are. Look towards me and don't move. Perfect. Wait, your turn on? I just want to turn on. Hopefully the third time's a charm. That looks good. I don't think so. Yeah. Um, I kind of like the way this goes, yeah. and if you're comfortable in it, or as comfortable as you can be in a shoe like this, and that probably, which pretty much, you're doing the person that's like Brian Wire. I remember trying on your mom's, and I couldn't even stand on them. Could not. I, my, my feet have, had no strength compared to someone who needed those, or could wear those. That's a cute picture. Oh well, I missed it. Oops. Make some sort of a. Are these um a medium shape? Sage, do something cool. That's lame. <laughs> Sage, go like this or something, like. I know it wasn't a lot, but now I just wanted to talk about what I got exactly and all the research I did and all that stuff. So basically, I have been in ballet for, okay, so I did ballet when I was younger and I stopped doing ballet and then I got into it, I got back into it this year. So I was in ballet too. If you've never done ballet before, obviously do ballet one and then if you know what you're doing, ask if you can move up. So. They suggested me to be in Ballet 2, but I just wasn't comfortable being in, being in Ballet 2 because it was a new studio and I had no idea like what to expect and stuff like that. So I took one class in Ballet 1. I knew Ballet 1 would be too easy, but I wanted to see 
how it was at the studio. So it was way too easy so I obviously I moved up and the year came and I moved up to Ballet 3 and Ballet 3 you can get your point shoes if you're the age 12 and up so obviously I can get my point shoes and I'm I mean I'm not late on getting point shoes because people get point shoes when they're adults so um yeah but um I would you can't just do not get point shoes without your studio recommendation or your studio telling you that you can get your point shoes because it's really dangerous you can break your ankles it's really bad so don't do it and most dance stores won't even let you buy them unless your studio says you can so don't buy point shoes without your permission from a studio um so i went to a dance store that I've never been before. I went once with my grandma for like 10 minutes, but I decided to go there to get my point shoes. I did so much research on YouTube. I watched basically every single video of my first pair of point shoes on YouTube and stuff. So I kind of got a basic knowledge of what to expect, but you really don't know what to expect on your first pair, so yeah. I, I know like every brand of point shoes, I'm pretty much an expert now. I'm just kidding, <laughs> just kidding. But I know a lot about point shoes just from doing so much research. Let's just dive right in. Dive right in. These are my point shoes. I Oh gosh. So when you go get your point shoes, this is just basic knowledge and my recommendation. Ask for, to, ask to try on a bunch of pairs and go somewhere where they know what they're doing. The place that I went really didn't know what they were doing. They didn't really know what they're doing. But um, that's why I wish I went to somewhere else because I didn't, they only gave me a couple options to try on and I knew they had more options. So I was kind of like, I was kind of nudging them to try on more. So I recommend trying on as much as you can so you can get a feel of what your feet, what your feet want and what you want and what's most comfortable, even though point shoes are uncomfortable and your feet will be torn up but yeah so I'm too lazy to look it up but I will put the model of the shoe right here if I can find it or I can't find it so yeah let's just open these up I tried the first shoes I tried on were blocks and they were so bad so okay I tried well I tried on blocks capizios grishkos that's it so it's not a lot of shoes to try on but um I tried on blocks the first one and they were they fit good but my toes were cramming up and they didn't they only went to a size 8 in the store I don't know if they just go to size 8 but they didn't fit me so um and then I tried on um capizios and they were too wide so Russian points are my they're good just Russian points and they have like um kind of like I don't know, it, the, this is not that wide compared to other ones I tried, but I kind of have a wide foot. So these are literally perfect and they're so pretty because some shoes, like the Capizios I tried on, they were so wide, they were not cute. Like it was like all wide, even the box was like so wide, it, went, like, it was like that. So I'm really glad I got these ones and um, yeah, these are... Um, I think these are a 42, yeah, these are size 42, they just, and it's a medium shank, and they just, yeah, they just fit good, and I'm really glad, I'm so happy, because this is literally, like, the style of point shoes I wanted, like, I wanted the vamp, or, that's what it's called, right, right here, I wanted to be kind of a V-cut, because I feel like those make your feet look prettier, I mean, I don't know anything, I don't know, I think people are probably going to comment, oh my god, Sage, you have no idea what you're talking about, but, I just think on my feet, because I have really big feet, this would be prettier, and um, I'm just glad that these fit my foot. It's just a really nice ballet pink color. Yeah, they're just like, like this. I have a pre-point workshop that I have to go to, um, the 13th, so a um, bunch of um, things you can use in your feet, because unless your studio doesn't want you wearing anything, which is crazy if they don't, um, they have a bunch of different paddings and lamb's wool. So, my mom uses lamb's wool, which I wanted at first, but it really, that would literally tear up your feet. Um, so, I got these. Gels are the most common, but, um, so these are like, I don't know. I have the box. 
It's literally just called Point Comfort, and these were the most comfortable for me. It's literally gel. It's like jelly. It's so comfortable on my feet, and I can still feel the floor, so I don't, you know, I can still feel the floor, which is good, and, um, it, these are so comfortable. So I got these, and they're just clear, and these were, like, $20, which is expensive, but these are the most comfortable. And my mom has lambswool at home, and so I put my punchies on to make sure that you were, like, feeling good and stuff. And the sides of my toes were hurting, so, um, I just put lambswool on the sides of my toe, like, on the side of my foot. So it's, like, like that, like, I have a pinky toe. Um, I got some elastic, because you've got to have elastic, unless you want... Okay, everyone needs elastic and ribbon, obviously. But you can get your sewn, you can get your shoes sewn on there, like at your dance studio. I mean, not dance studio, at your dance store. They, everyone does it. Basically, everyone, every dance store does that for you. But you just pay for them to do it. But my studio, um, we have a workshop, and they want us to just bring the shoes in and like not have the ribbon and stuff sewn on yet. So, elastic. And your ribbon, this is just Capizio satin ribbon. Just a celebration, I got a point shoe keychain because, um, I mean, it's a big accomplishment for ballerinas to get a point shoe, so I was like, this is so cute! It's so cute. So, that's basically it. I mean, basic knowledge, I kind of gave you the basic rundown of what I got and stuff. Um, I'm really happy about how, which ones I got, they make my feet look good, um, obviously they aren't worn in yet, so I can't wait till I get them, like, dirty and, like, break them in, and, yeah, so these are my point shoes, ah, um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up, if you guys enjoy, comment down below if you have point shoes or are gonna get point shoes, or if you do ballet, I'm so excited. This has been a dream of my life. Like, literally ever since I remember I was like maybe eight and I wore my mom's point shoes and I got in trouble because I wasn't supposed to or I'm not allowed to. I wasn't allowed to wear my mom's point shoes, but finally it, it feels like a dream. Like, I have, I have point shoes. I have point shoes. Yeah, that's my video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye, guys. Mwah.